Hey guys, it's time to enough of some chill. Every now and then, I get the following question from a lot of players who are new to doing PvE raids, otherwise known as trials in the Elder Scrolls Online. In what order should we do trials as new players or new raid teams? As of this video, there are 9 12-man trials in ESO, and I will explain what order I would do the trials in for a team that I would lead personally entirely from scratch. Understand that I'm talking about this order of trials in terms of progression and learning, rather than order of difficulty, which is an entirely different question that we can talk about in a different video. One thing I want to mention first is that the reason why so many people haven't done a lot of the original content these days, which are actually really good as fundamental teaching tools, is because the shiny stuff and the best in slot gear tend to be in the newer content, for example, Reliquin Clouderus or uh, False God in Sunspire. This has unfortunately led a lot of newer raiders astray, leading to people who have done Vet Sunspire first before ever doing Vet Ethereum Archive and then missing out on the fundamentals. This is why when we start started the uh, raid lead program in ESO University, I took the groups from Craglorns to Maul rather than start at a weird random spot. For those of you who don't know me or are new to the channel, I have been endgame raiding in ESO for about 5 years now. I've DPSed, healed, and tanked. Everything from veteran to hard modes. I've score pushed, got world records, all the trifecta achievements, and have also raid led quite a lot of groups uh, in a lot of guilds, ranging from progression to endgame progression. And after some contemplation, here's how it, here's how I would take a new group from veteran trial to trial. First, veteran Hellraw Citadel. This and the other Kraglin trials are often scoffed at or overlooked by a lot of players simply because it's easier than the DLC trials. However, it's quite significant in introducing every role, whether it's DPS, tank, and healer, to what a trial will basically look like. Each boss fight from Rakuto 2 to Yokota Kai and Rock Doom to the Warrior teaches players how much stuff they can stand and how to coordinate where to stand and how to recognize mechanics or cues from each boss, such as Rakuto 2's spin or the Warrior's cleave and shield drill. Second, as a next stepping stone, Veteran Ethereum Archive. This trial builds on what the group should have learned in Hell Ra by teaching tanks and healers to optimize their buffs and debuffs. Likewise for the DPS, they will learn to optimize their rotations and damage in a fairly static environment from the Lightning Storm Atronach to Valerio the Wisp Mother. This trial is perfect for a group to test their damage, buffs, and debuffs while also building up some team synergy. Third, Veteran Sanctum Aphidia Hard Mode. Sanctum Ophidia was the third trial to be released back when ESO was sub to play. It combined a lot of the elements groups experienced in both Hellra Citadel and Ethereum Archive, resulting in my opinion probably the best PvE trial ever made in ESO. A lot of people don't know how to play their roles effectively in Sanctum well because they don't know how to do it, and they don't know how to do it because they've never done it, and they've never done it because they don't like it, and they don't like Sanctum because they don't know how to play it. This trial teaches tanks how to stack trash effectively, particularly with distance, which they probably never really encountered much in the previous two trials. The DPS who should have been honing their numbers and such since Aetherian Archive and learning the importance of positioning from Hellra will be tested, and the healers will be put to more pressure than ever before with the constant po poison AoEs and the mechanics of each boss fight, whether things go right or wrong. Moreover, with hints from Ethereum Archive, groups will learn that prioritizing certain ads can make things a lot easier, so there's that as well. Fourth, I would highly recommend revisiting Hellra Hard Mode and Ethereum Archive Hard Mode after Sanctum Hard Mode to test group positioning, awareness, and damage overall. Breaking statues, making callouts as a raid lead, positioning of ads, a healer getting stoned, focusing of ads all play into the heavy amount of group coordination needed to master not just these hard moves, but the future content. These Craglorn trials and hard moves will assuredly contribute a lot to your team's knowledge and gameplay experience for the next fifth tri trial I would recommend for a new group, Veteran Maul Lord Kaj. Just like Sanctum and Fidia, it combines the best of everything. Boss fights, trash stacks, and player awareness all rolled into one. Prioritizing ads such as Sun Eaters, familiar positioning from Hell Ra for Zajasa, and many other things should strike a familiarity with your group who's gone through the Kraglorn Trials. Tanks and healers will learn that Trash also has a mechanic or two while keeping up their basic responsibilities, and DPS will recognize that if they did poorly in the Kraglorn Trials, they'll do much worse in Maul Some mechanics may appear new 
to your groups, such as running back room on Rakat or the twins fight, but that's okay because these will play an integral step in your group, recognize their future recycled mechanics in future trials, such as halls of fabrication boss one and two, portal phases in veteran Cloudrus and Sunspire, and cleaning up the cells in Kind's Ages. Four, Number six, while you're in Mob Lord Kanj, you might as well go for the hard mode. The hard mode fight basically puts what you should have learned from the non hard mode Rakat fight and all the previous trials to the test. If you have the DPS to burn Rakat before Lunar Phase, great. If you don't, then Lunar Phase won't be too hard in your group as long as you understand the basis of group coordination. For number seven, I would make or take the new raid team to Veteran Halls of Fabrication Hard Moon, as I would want to start making sure the tanks and healers are in sync, as v Hoff definitely ramps up the intensity on the support roles, not making too many mistakes and also learning their limits as well. From here on, itemization will also start playing an even, important, an even more important role depending on your group's composition as v Hoff will challenge your group to potentially make a support or even a DPS sacrifice a usual setup or two depending on the certain strategies you may utilize. Once my new group clears v Hoff, I would finish with hard mode, cleaning up any sloppiness from boss 1 to boss 4 and getting the hard mode clear on the assembly general which isn't that much harder than the non-hard mode for most of the group but could be a bit harder on the support roles. After v Hoff, a raid league could potentially take one of three paths, Veteran Kind's Aegis, Veteran Cloudrest, or Veteran Sunspire. All of these three trials are most stressful on the supports, with the Sunspire probably being the hardest of the three, even more so on the DPS, due to the nature of the boss fights. Depending on your group's composition, whether it's mixed, stamina, or magicka, you could take your new group to Sunspire or Cloudrest first, as both trials have pretty good gear assuming some in your group don't have the gear. Of course, depending on when you're watching this video, it could be that the gear is irrelevant or not as strong. You'll notice that I excluded Asylum Sanctorium from the next step, but in my opinion, the fundamentals and lessons that your group most likely have picked up from Craghorns to Vihoff almost have no presence in the Sunlum Sanctorium hard mode as that Clockwork City mini trial is sort of a different beast while Cloudrest, Sunspire, and Kind's Ages do have familiar elements uh, from VHRC, VMAW, VAA, VSO, and Vihoff. In short, I'd personally go to Veteran Sunspire after Vihoff, work on Veteran Sunspire hard mode, which means most likely one DPS will need to learn the basics of taunting and stacking with distance on the Navintas fight, which will let my group transition into having a potential third tank for Veteran Cloudrest and its hard mode. After Cloudrest, I'd probably go to Kind's Aegis and work on its hard mode, and then do a Sodom Sanctorium hard mode last. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys took something away from this for yourself as an upcoming raid lead or for a new progression team you may be in or helping lead. This doesn't mean you should do these in order, but this is what I would definitely do for a new group. I'd start from scratch. Definitely, I do recommend at least doing the Craglorns first as they are really, really good stepping stones and really good at teaching the fundamentals to new raiders and not skipping them, even though they may be easy for some people. Even though they're easy, they are pretty important. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and have fun.